Good morning. Pastor Sean here. Today is Wednesday, September 21st, and this is your morning prayer. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. All right, well today, um, I wanted to um, <laughs> actually uh, kind of key off of a comment that was made on my morning prayer video from yesterday. Um, uh, there, there was a comment <laughs> that... Uh, um, mentioned uh, the humanistic psychology of personality development. A lot of fun stuff. And um, was kind of uh, poking fun at that for how uh, what it posits uh, versus what is the reality behind how God created us. Or not how God created us, but how we have fallen into sin and our condition as sinful human beings. And uh, the, hum the humanistic psychology of personality development, basically um, kind of uh, the, at the foundational level, says that people are, are intrinsically good. Okay? There, there's, there, there's good at the heart of, of us all. And generally, we, we, we have this drive to then um, to do good things, make ourselves better, to progress, to become better people. And this is kind of this, this core... Um, function within us. Now, um, that, that's, that's a theory, I guess. <laughs> um, but, uh, theologically, uh, this is, this is way off. Um, we are not intrinsically good. We are poor, miserable sinners. We, we are completely sinful and unclean. Um, we are everything that we confess every Sunday, that we are not good at all, uh, that God made us good, you know, at the very beginning, he created man and woman, and they were good. Um, but we we fell into sin. We chose sin. Um, and therefore, that, that perfect image uh, that, we, that we had, that image of God, has been broken, shattered. And uh, we, we no longer have anything intrinsically good within us whatsoever. And uh, to that, I thought I would um, bring up Romans chapter 3, verses 9 through 18. This is where Paul says, what then? Are we Jews any better off? No, not at all. For we have already charged that all, both Jews and Greeks, all people, are under sin. As it is written, none is righteous, no, excuse me, none is righteous, no, not one. No one understands, no one seeks God. All have turned aside, together they have become worthless. No one does good, not even one. Their throat is an open grave. They use their tongues to deceive. The venom of asps is under their lips. Their mouth is full of curses and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. In their paths are ruin and misery. And the way of peace they have not known. There is no fear of God before their eyes. So Paul would have, well, and has a lot to say against this uh, humanistic psychology um, that would try to salvage some bit of our, our human condition as good. Um, Paul clearly disagrees. Um, none is righteous. No, not one. Um, no one does good. Not even one. And this is, this is the reality that we all live in, is that we are not good. Even what, what we envision as good um, when we are, you know, on our best behavior and we've had a day where we've tried our hardest to do good, to to, to leave the world a better place than what we encountered it in the morning, you know, and we're really trying to do good. Um, that is always going to be just good according to our subjective measurement of what good is. And that is always severely lacking because the only one who gets to define God, uh, good is God. Um, and so uh, this this is this is the issue. <laughs> um, this you know eventually we, we get to the point of why why did we need Jesus to come to us to die on the cross for us? Because we thought we were good. 
<laughs> we thought we were good enough that, uh, you know, God would certainly, you know, he'd look at us and say, oh, good, good job. But when we truly examine ourselves um, and we go beyond just the, the things we say, the things we do, but get into like the things, the way we think, the things we think, um, and, and just, you know, the whole concept of being good. I mean, I think even in and of itself kind of betrays the idea that we have to try to be good. And see, if you have to try to be good, that means that you're not good. <laughs> um, that means you're bad. That means that because of, <laughs> because of the, 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 the bad that is in us, we have to try to be good. Um, and, uh, you know, to, to make ourselves better indicates that we are currently not better. <laughs> that there's, there's always this constant room for improvement because we're always starting from a point of there's nothing good. Um, and so I think even just the whole concept of improving ourselves and, and trying to be good just um, shows how bad the situation really is. Um, and of course that is, we're dead in our trespasses. You know, another thing Paul will, will repeat uh, a couple times throughout uh, the epistles that in our sin, we are dead and dead is dead. <laughs> um, dead. There's nothing we can do with. We can't, you can't do anything with dead. You, you have no power to raise the dead. If we are dead in our trespasses, spiritually dead, nothing that we can do can help. There's no salvation there. We are dead. Uh, what we need is resurrection. What we need is somebody who can bring us to life. And this is precisely what Jesus does. He breathes his life into us um, in baptism. You know, the words spoken over us. I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Those words, you know, that's God's word breathed into us. Um, and the Holy Spirit uh, creates faith in our hearts. And, and we live. Uh, we are raised into new life in Christ. So, um this is a big deal. <laughs> I mean, this is kind of a foundational kind of thing um, that uh, there, there's no, no one righteous, no, not one. Um, our best works are, are, are just as well. <laughs> what, what Paul says is a little bit worse than just dirty rags, <laughs> but um, they're, they're just disgusting. They're, they're what you pass by on the street after a dog is, you know, done his business. <laughs> Those are our good works. Um, there's nothing good in us. And so that's why the, the YouTube comment was, was funny and <laughs> poking fun at it was because God's, um, response to our like, Oh, don't worry, God, we're, we're trying to improve. We're trying to be better. Um, his response is to send his son because he knows, he knows what we chose, uh, that we chose sin. He knows that we are dead and we are just ignorant of that fact most of the time that we are dead in our trespasses. We think we are live and vibrant and striving to do better. We're, we're spiritual corpses <laughs> apart from Christ. Um, and so thanks be to God. He, he sent his son to redeem us, to, uh, to raise us into new life, not to, to foster some inner spark of goodness, but to create in us, the very thing that God seeks out, the very thing that God, um, the object of God's love, he creates that in us because there's nothing in here worth God's time or energy. So God creates the very thing that he loves within us, uh, the new heart that we have in Jesus Christ that is God's creation, that he has placed in you. And he says, and that, <laughs> now, now, <laughs> now you are holy. Now you are righteous. Now you are worthy of, of all the things that I've promised you um, because of what I have created in you. And this is a wonderful word from God and uh, a great way to start the day, um, any day. So uh, yeah, Romans 3, 9 through 18. Good, good meditation for today. Alrighty, let us pray. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, 
that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Well, blessings to you as we hit the midpoint of the week. Uh, hope your week is going well. Hope you have a great day. And uh, maybe I'll, I'll see you at uh, the midweek Bible study that we're starting tonight, uh, Lutheran stuff. So uh, check out uh, our YouTube channel um, at uh, 6 o'clock Eastern time tonight for that. So have a wonderful day. And until tomorrow, peace be with you.